Hi, my name is Liam, head of technical shooter at Prima, otherwise known as Yarmanak, and welcome to the latest video. As always, we're keeping it real. Today we're discussing EPOS, or point of sale terminals. So, I'm using this handheld scanner to do what we're using it for today. We're going to go through a setup together and show you how easy to use this. So, this can be used in multiple applications from restaurants, retail, um, manufacturing, whatever it has a barcode or data you need to import. It gives you a digital overlay onto your CCTV footage, whether it be from an XVR or MVR, you have the ability to record this data, whether it be for inventory management, staff and levels to replenish stock, even as far as loss prevention. You can use it for retail analysis and give you real-time analytics, with the ability to search back and look at the data given to you from your point of sale terminal. So we're gonna get this set up together. I'll show you how easy it is. Please like, share, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. So the post can be set up uh, using the web browser or front end of the recorder. I will do it via the web browser, um, but it is now on identical when using the front end of the recorder. A few things you need to check prior to this is the network settings. You need the IP address of your recorder. Um, that is obviously to point your TIL terminal to, and uh, so it acts like a virtual printer. And also the relevant port to shoot the POS. So we're using 38800, or you can use any variation uh, in that numerical format in there. Uh, also, as we are recording this uh, text data on top of our recorded CCD footage, we do ensure that our schedule is set up for this. So go to Schedule. As you can see, we're set, currently set up a continuous record. We want the post data, and we want it to record seven days a week. Obviously, you can change that to meet your requirement. Uh, and you now have that all there for you, and this is for channel one. Ensure you apply your settings when you make any changes, because uh, if you click out of this particular tab uh, without clicking apply, you will lose your settings. Then go to the post tab. Um, go to post settings. Uh, you can have up to eight POS devices uh, on one of your recorders, and you have the ability to edit the name to suit. So we'll change this to TIL1. We'll enable that. Also set to channel record. Obviously, we want this to record channel number one. Make sure that's enabled. Press OK. Protocol set to general. Uh, we'll leave that as is because it works the way we need it to for this instance, but you can change that in case you need to for your POS terminal. Also, connection type using TCP. As you can see, there's the IP address of the recorder that I'm web browsing into at the moment and the IP address you saw earlier. The source IP would be the IP address of the device that's given us that POS data. I'm using a 485 uh, network adapter uh, just with a handheld scanner, just for demonstration purposes. And the IP address I have set up there. And as you can see, the port we're using for the, the POS is 38800, as we checked earlier. That can be changed, as we said. And there's other information there. Obviously, your network timeout, the overlay time, that's the duration of the stage on your screen. Uh, font size, we're going to change that. And also font color. So traditionally, a camera would be overhead looking down. This is just to my right-hand side for um, the purposes of this video. Um, we can change this to suit, so we will change it to yellow. And also ensure that the POS information tab is ticked. And press apply. One more thing to bear in mind with this is you can change where the POS information is being displayed. Um, again, as default, it is the top left-hand corner of the image. We will leave that there, and you can obviously make this bigger and smaller, move it around as you need, as you see fit. So we'll apply that settings, and that is basically it. There's not much more to it. The one thing to bear in mind is the information you received is the information given from our POS system. So this is our video feed. Let me just grab my scanner. One second. So I have a little handheld scanner, as you can see here. So if I scan, so I have a Dower PEZ here. Um, I'm just going to scan. As you can see, I now have uh, the number given to me from that barcode on the top left hand display of my image. So, for the purposes of the video, uh, I have created some of my own barcodes with generic text. Um, so, obviously, you're watching the Almanac. That's there. Obviously, as you're with the Prima, you offer your real support. And again, providing you a real security, all part for real products. 
in addition to our keep it real with our new brand refresh so if I now need to search for that information um, because I set up the recording schedule I can do so let's just click on the live tab I can go to POS again if I want to for ALM I can pick multiple cameras like pick my time period uh, and press search the last one we just scanned there so if I click this information it is important as you can see I now have uh, the number given to me from that barcode on the top left hand display of my image. So for the purposes of the video, uh, I have created some of my own barcodes with generic text. Um, so obviously if you're watching the Almanac, that's there. Obviously, as you're with the Prima, you offer your real support. And again, providing your real security, all part for real products. In addition to our Keep It Real with our new brand refresh. So by now we need to search for that information. You can have that there also. You have the ability to do this. Just go to your search section. We just want the post data. If you want that, you can see we have the markers on our timeline there. I have my image. So, for the purposes of the video, uh, I have created some of my own barcodes with generic text. Um, so, obviously, if you're watching the Almanac, that's there. Obviously, as you're with the Prima, you offer your real support. And again, providing you a real security, all right. part for okay. real products. Go back to our live view. It's a very powerful tool that can be utilized if you have a uh, DAO recorder that can be into your generic POS terminal, and it's a very powerful tool that you can use for that. So, again, please like and subscribe, and once again, Thanks for watching. So this is a bit of a basic video. I thought I'd just show you some of the powerful uh, add-ons that our uh, equipment can give you. So I have an additional bolt on with EPOS, which is already part of our equipment. You can use, utilize this powerful tool for multiple applications, whether it be for retail, manufacturing, whatever it may be, you could have the ability to have this uh, POS function. So again, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. See you all again soon.